We arrived at Lacana Thousand Trails only to discover that their RV dump is out of service and there's no laundry facilities. This is because the septic system is failing. The local Native American tribe owns the property and leases it out to Thousand Trails. What we heard through the grapevine is that the owners want Thousand Trails to fix the septic system before they will renew Thousand Trails lease and Thousand Trails wants the owners to fix the, sep <laughs> to fix the septic system before they will renew the lease. Until that conflict is resolved, nothing will be done and the septic system will eventually fail completely. Not sunny like we're the water. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Ooh, the water's sparkling. Get it. Oh, come on, get a better picture. There we go. You can't see the mountains in the background because of the light, but that's pretty. We got up this morning and uh, let the dog out. Don saw a box on the chair. And he's like, why did you leave a box on the chair? And I'm like, I don't know anything about any box. And um, so I brought it in. It's got a bunch of food in it. There's a tag with a name on it with this site number, but this person is not in our site. So I texted the ranger to see if they know anything about where this person is. Or, uh, or if we can keep it, because there's pistachios in there. There's meat and eggs, bacon. The spread, canned foods, some beans, pasta. Yeah, we could use this. <laughs> nah, we ain't using it if it's somebody else's. I, no, not if it's someone else's, of course. But if uh, they don't know where this person is staying, what site they're in, if we can't locate them, I mean, I don't know who Bob and Nancy is. It doesn't have their site number on it or anything. So we'll uh, see what happens as the mystery continues. Well, I went to fold the couch up back into a couch from a bed to a couch and it popped off something and now it's, <coughs> I don't know what it's doing. We're going to try and figure it out. Well, the mystery box of food has been solved. The ranger got a hold of the people and apparently it comes from a local food bank. They come once a week and deliver to uh, folks. Um, who have signed up for the program come and bring that stuff out. There was some good stuff in there. Was... What's the matter, Juma? Is there a dog over here? Is there a dog right here in your area? The horror of it all. Yeah? Oh, you're complaining. She says, I want food and I want that dog gone. Out of my area. This is my area. She's going to cry until you leave now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She's uh, get off my couch, kind of oh, kitty. Oh, oh, here she like get off my grass, <laughs> get off my couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so old now. Oof. There she goes. Sit in the, sit in the sun. Sit in the sun on her heating. Blanket. And that's a heated pad up there for her memory foam too. Yeah. What are you doing? You're being all cute and stuff. Yeah. You're being cute. You're being cute. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Yeah, there you go. Let's see the rest of your sweater. Yeah, where's your sweater? Huh? Where's your sweater? Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There it is. There's your sweater. There you go. Good boy. Winter is coming.
Hello, friends and family on Facebook. We are in Site 268 at La Conner RV Camping Resort, and we've got a spectacular view of the Skagit Bay, which is part of the Puget Sound. There is a trail down to the beach. I'm going to see if I can get over there. I think I hear people down there. Yes, I do. Oh, if I get too far away from the internet, I might get cut off. Look at this. Beautiful view. this trail. This is about as far as I can go. It gets really steep right here and I don't have like a stick to make me feel steady. I think we're hearing the people off the fishing barge there. Crab and barge, whatever that is. real hazy. I'm guessing there's another wildfire because I was smelling smoke earlier. There is a burn ban, so I don't know if people are having campfires. I doubt it. But it smelled like smoke earlier and when I came out it was like super hazy. That's usually uh, wildfires that cause that. I'm going to come back and see Dawn. There we are. There's our home on wheels. Hi, Squeedle. Are you enjoying the outside? Beautiful, warm day. Uh, one year up, one year down. <laughs> Look at you, silly. Leave it like that. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, it popped. Mm -hmm. Oh, put your ear back down. Put your ear down. Put your ear down. No. No, no don't I do can't. that. <laughs> we're done. Okay, we're going to end this now. <laughs> See you guys later. So, Don, Don, Donald. Yes. What do you think of the view? Oh, it's gorgeous here. Isn't Just it? Just totally gorgeous here. Unbelievable. This is one of the prettiest sites we've been in. Let's put it that way here. I can't wait for the sunset tonight. Well, hopefully it'll be a nice one. It's really hazy today. I was smelling hazy, smoke. I, I think there might be another forest fire. Mm. I'll have to check the news, but it's yeah. super hazy and it smells like smoke, so I'm guessing another forest fire. Yeah, probably. <sighs> we'll find out. Yep. It's been raining the past few days and it's nice to see the sun come back out, although it's supposed to rain again tonight. I've got some of my Halloween stuff up. I have to expand this chain crocheted. I think I'll do candy corn colors next time. And a wreath. That's made with a pool noodle and crocheted a cover for it. Some garland and little bats. Got the stuff at the dollar store when it was a dollar. <laughs> My little touch lamp. I love this thing. It's hanging on a hook right now, but you can uh, clamp it to just about anything. And I still have my leaves up. After Halloween, I'll have to put uh, the fall stuff back up and some Thanksgiving things like turkeys or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm looking at all the wind and the weather. Don's ready to go south, but we can't until we can figure out how we can get our medications and uh, mail and stuff like that. But yeah, 
I'd, I'd love to be able to go. Well, today is October 29th and we're moving from La Conner to Mount Vernon. We got very, very lucky with the weather today. It's about 57 degrees, not too hot, not too cold. For us, this is not cold. <laughs> it's uh, actually just right. And no rain, that's the big thing. No rain. The sun was shining a little bit. It'll probably be back out because it's just a little cloudy. As you can see, uh, Dawn's in at Safeway getting stuff for the week and some meds. And then we're going to stop at Walgreens for his meds. And then we'll be on our way to Mount Vernon. Thousand Trails. Well, we're moving to a sewer site today. Right, Kitty? Some people just moved in across the street. What a difference in the weather from yesterday to today. It's really dark out and then raining. It's going to be 50 degrees today, 52, something like that. Yeah, we're moving two days in a row, huh, Kitty? You'll be fine up there until we're just going a few sites down to a sewer site. Well, we were in site A51, which is a sewer site, but the internet was just not very good at that spot. So we moved over here to site B38, and much better view. Turned out to be a beautiful day today. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to move, because it was nice out, because it's been just raining and, and dark and cold. But today turned out nice and we found this site. Internet is much better over here. We don't even have to put up the antenna. And just really, really, really enjoying this view. It's nice and light and bright. Not so dark in here. Yeah, I'll get a better picture here. Got the heater up there to get rid of some, some of the condensation on the front window. We got a couple of dehumidifiers going now. That should help. So, yeah, blue skies today. Yay! Well, <clears throat> I got up to go to the bathroom this morning and I go into the bathroom and the faucet's running. What happened is last night it got really cold out and the water was almost frozen when I tried to use the kitchen sink. So apparently in the middle of the night sometime, Don got up and uh, opened up the faucet in the bathroom just a little bit so that it would drip, I guess. Well, I got up just now and yeah, we flooded, flooded the coach. So uh, luckily we emptied the tanks yesterday. The floor is soaking wet. I, I, has, I haven't figured out yet um, if it's gone all the way into the kitchen here yet or not, um, but the floor and the bathroom is soaked. The shower was filled up. We dumped that out into the toilet as much as we could. So now we're just going to be on our way to the dump because there's no dump here at this park. Or there's no sewer site at this park. We're well, not we in the sewer, sewer site because we wanted better internet. Um, the internet was lousy at the other site that we had that was sewer so we're, we moved and no sewer but anyway um, we bailed out as much as we could out of the shower and we're going to be heading to the dump oh look what's outside <laughs> let's see if we can get a picture of his, uh, his telephone number uh, Don doesn't want to use them though. He wants to just he wants to drive to the dump. So that's that. I turned it on thinking, what's wrong with this water? You know. So as I've got it turned on, there's nothing happening. I just left it like it was, and I was like, oh man, it must be frozen again, because I know you said it had frozen earlier. Yeah. And unbeknownst to me, I had left it on because it, it wasn't running because it was frozen. But then when it, the daylight came and thawed it out enough, yep. filled the tanks. 
Okay, we're on our way. Tank, I should say, one tank. And then, and then we're going straight to Camping World to get a heated hose, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. Straight to Camping World, get a heated hose. That's going to be expensive. Yep, it's 139 bucks. Now, of course, this guy is taking up the road. We can't get past him. Oi. Dog is on me. Get off. Is he moving it? Looks like it. No. He's going to unhook, I think. No? We're at the mercy of the sky. No. That's all right. I wanted to turn the heat off. Yeah, the way that came down. Is that frost or snow? No. We can't look at the top of those ferns right there. That is snow. We are high up in the hills, so it's it's possible. It's possible. I know it got really cold last night. You're considered the low-lying hills. Yeah, that's 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 uh, definitely snow. That's yeah. snow. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's only November eighth. Well, we're high up, but still, damn. It's gonna be a long winter. Yeah, well. So you went into Camping World and what happened? Oh, I went into Camping World and we were worried that they would run out because as we got there, oh, run out of what? The uh, heated hose. Uh huh. And people were coming out of the store with heated hose and we we're like, oh no, they're not gonna have what we needed. I walked in the door, they had huge display here, another display over here, and a giant pallet filled with them all the way up so <laughs> they, they knew for us. they <laughs> knew it was going to be what it's going to be they, they knew we were coming they saw it saw it happening <laughs> they knew we were coming and uh, i could have bought 50 of them <laughs> okay let's see if we can get the mountains again here yeah it snowed last night november 8th snow already casino's busy today of course it's a casino I like they, they also fly the Canadian flag, that's kind of cool. I don't know how you don't make money with a casino. People come in, they give you their money, and they leave. <laughs> well, that's all we have for this episode. Thank you for watching and getting to know us a little bit. A big shout out to all of our subscribers. We appreciate you more than you'll ever know. For now, we're hunkering down for the winter. We'll be posting periodic updates, so stay tuned. See you next time, and until then, take care, and remember that if we can go there, so can you. Bye for now.